twisted metal. One of my favourite video games of all time. With all the... And the... And the... Ah, I'm almost dead. Gotta get to a health station. Gotta get to a health station. Gotta get to a health station. Ah! It's so good. Even now, after 25 years, it hasn't aged a day. Now, when I think PlayStation, I think about two things. Christmas 96, when I got the console. Oh, that's what oh, what you got? The PlayStation! No! You're joking, man. PlayStation! And the day I first encountered Twisted Metal. My dad took me to the local video game shop that we called Sally's. We called it that because, well, Sally owned it. <laughs> and at the back of Sally's shop sat Sally's son playing video games. He was older than me, he was cooler than me, and he was always playing the latest and greatest games. And on this fateful day, he handed me the controller and said, try this. And there, bathed in the glow of the CRT at the back of Sally's, I played Twisted Metal for the first time. What I loved most about Twisted Metal was how easy it was to just pick up and play and start having fun. You didn't need this adjustment period like you did for other games at the time. Wait, what? Did I just knock on the wall? Why is that a function? Oh, fuck! Run, secret agent man! Run! No! Get up, you prick! I'm not saying Twisted Metal was easy. Far from it. There's plenty of tactics to master and skills to learn before you'll be good enough to beat it, but the game remains fun the entire time. For those who aren't familiar with Twisted Metal, it's essentially a death match with cars. Kind of like Mario Kart's battle mode, but way more twisted and way more fucking metal! Story goes that once a year, the legendary Calypso, a man who dwells beneath the streets of LA, holds the Twisted Metal competition, and you've just been given your invitation. Twisted Metal is an instant thrill, but to get good, you're gonna need to memorize the maps, weapon spawn locations, other enemies' special abilities, as well as the best way to play the particular character you picked. Each vehicle has its pros and cons, with its own personalized look, feel, driver, and special weapon. Also, all the vehicles have their own cockpit view. I mean, this is 25 years ago. Look at it. This blew my bloody mind as a kid. Everyone had their own favorite Twisted Metal character back in the day. My favorite was Mr. Grimm. Though he was the weakest when it came to overall health, he had the most powerful special in the game and was the hardest to hit. But I didn't care about any of that. I just wanted to pretend I was the Terminator. Going from this to this was almost too much for me to handle back then. I'm not going to talk about the entire series because I'd be here all day long. And I don't think I need to because the very thing that makes Twisted Metal so special can be traced back to the original game. It's well balanced, controls fantastically, has a varied selection of vehicles driven by cool characters, all with their own backstories and separate endings. The graphics are dark, gritty, with awesome sound effects and music. And from a gameplay perspective, this 25-year-old game holds up unbelievably well. Which brings me to my final point. Why hasn't it been rebooted yet? The PlayStation 4 was the first PlayStation console to not have its own Twisted Metal game. Next year, it will have been 10 years since the last Twisted Metal. And with no news of a new one coming to the PlayStation 5, I thought it was time I spoke up. Not that anyone's going to see this video, but at least I tried. And over the last 10 years, gaming has been turned upside down, with single player games taking a back seat, with online multiplayer taking the spotlight, giving rise to the whole streaming and esports boom. So doesn't now seem like the perfect time for Twisted Metal to make a comeback? I mean, this piece of shit blew up last year, jumping jelly bean men! Well, I'm out guys. This is what's cool now, I think I'm done. I no longer have any connection to this world. What is Sony waiting for? The PlayStation 5 has no games as it is. You've got no friends. But instead of a Twisted Metal game, they're making a Twisted Metal TV show. You don't do that. That's crazy. Does Sony know that this isn't a TV show machine? Twisted Metal doesn't need the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 needs Twisted Metal. As long as the remake is given the care and attention to detail it deserves, everyone will be a winner. Gamers will get a ridiculously fun, seriously addictive game that is as entertaining to watch as it is to play, and Sony can charge us up the arse for skins and shit. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. I've been the Tominator, and you've just clicked to reboot Twisted Metal. Hasta la vista. <laughs>